This question is strongly linked to another question, which is, why do some black men hate black women so much? So, let's get to the basis of this conversation. It's about a level of respect. If a mother is walking around in front of her son naked, she shows that she doesn't have respect for him as a man. And on top of this, you have to remember that raising a son, especially a black son, is tricky these days. It's no secret that in some parts of the black community, there are no men in certain households. And so a mother is forced to raise her son alone. And I give, I give kudos to those who do this. But you have to remember that your son is a boy that will be a man one day. And having an unhealthy, close relationship with your son produces what we call arrested development. That's when your son is 25 years old, but he behaves like a 13-year-old. And I bring this up because black men who grow up in households where their mother are overwhelming suffer from two things. They either hate black women because they view them all as their mother, or they depend too heavily on women because their mother taught them nothing other than being a son. If you are if you are a single mother raising a son, a black son at this, and all you teach him is you're going to give him everything he, he asks for. He doesn't have to work for anything he gets. He's entitled to whatever he wants. When he goes out into the real world, he will never be a provider, a father, or a husband. He will only take on the role of son. He will forever see himself as a boy. And so he won't have a problem with waiting on a woman to come home with the paycheck or waiting on a woman to take care of him, uh, cook for him, clean for him without him having to do anything. It's unhealthy. And so when he has a child of his own, the only thing he knows is run. He doesn't want to provide for that child. He doesn't need to provide for that child, he doesn't believe, because he's never been taught to be anything more than a son. On top of this, you have the baby boy complex. If you've seen the movie Baby Boy, the question was, why do he call his his girl, his, his woman, his girl, his home, his crib, why is he so dependent on his mother? And that came from a book called The Isis Papers, written, I believe, by Francis Cress Welting. And it's a deep book, but it examines the manhood, and it questions why men especially black men, lean so heavily on their mothers to provide for them. Then when the black boy becomes a man, if he, if he grew up in a household where he felt his mother was overbearing and he didn't appreciate or reciprocate that overbearingness, if that's a word, then he goes out in the world and he finds the exact opposite of what his mother was. So he goes, he goes and he finds the pellet skin, bluest eyed, blondest hair, thinnest person he can find on the planet, the exact opposite of what his mother is because internally he has begun to hate white black women and everything that he believes about black women is based on what he sees in his mother. He'll say, oh no, I love my mother. I know my mother isn't this. I know my mother isn't that. But then he'll in the same breath say, I don't like black women because they are this, they're lazy, they're this, they're ugly, they're this, they're fat. These are all the things he saw in his mother. And he's basing his reaction of black women or his interpretation of black women just off of his mother and his family members. What I'm saying, black women, is that if you have a son and you are raising him alone without a man in the house, this is what you need to do. Make sure that you teach him or direct him to take out the garbage. Clean up. Don't give him everything he wants. Make him earn what you give him. He has good grace. Get him what he wants. He cleans the house the way you told him to without you having to tell him. Give him a reward. But don't always give him a reward for doing stuff, especially stuff that he's supposed to do. Because at some point he has to realize some things he has to do and he won't get rewarded for it. That's life. And if you teach him that, he'll go out there and he'll be a man. He won't depend on a woman to take care of him. And I'm not saying that 
he has to pay all the bills, but I'm saying that at the very least, you meet somewhere in the middle. 50-50 in this relationship. That's what he should believe in at the very least. To the black man out there listening to this video, please be there for your children, especially our sons and our daughters, um, but especially our sons because they need us. They need a society. They need us. You see what's been happening over all these years. We lost a generation to crack, to the crack epidemic. We have to get back out there. We have to be there for our children. Even if you're not together with your child's mother, be there for that child. Always. But anyway, if you like this video, and if you don't like this video, leave a comment. I like to hear other perspectives. Maybe I missed something. Maybe you have something to say that I didn't consider. Um, you got your boy Boss Bella, a.k.a. J. Reed. To those of y'all who know me as such, leave a comment, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and um, I'll keep you updated. But from me to you, Merry Christmas.